friends, it's Kara from Power to the Flower. I'm here at a client's house and we are going to be potting up four fall containers today. Two succulent pots and two full sun containers. All right, let's go have a look around. All right, you can see their front porch here is looking so cute with her fall pumpkins and her wreath. And then she has this container, which she bought, um, she said maybe a year and a half ago. So you, you can see the succulents have elongated and some of them haven't made it. So we'll be adding some dirt and some more interest into this one. Probably four or five inches of dirt of, of pot showing. The dirt's gone down about four to five inches. And all of these beautiful succulents have gone a bit leggy. So we're gonna be cutting them back. That's the great thing about succulents is you can just literally cut them off and stick them back in the dirt and they come, keep on going. So we're gonna be cutting these back and then also adding some more. To be honest, the majority of these <laughs> <laughs> came, I have a peaky friend over there, came from Home Depot and they were such a great deal. All of these um, six packs. So I'm really excited to use them. All right, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is try and remove the succulents that we have here. few dead things in here that we're gonna take out and what I'm gonna do because this pot is so big is this the soil is a well-draining soil and because the roots do not go very deep I'm only gonna I'm not gonna dump this soil out I'm just gonna put new soil on the top all right so what we want to do is kind of have like a bit of a mound because the succulents are going to work their way up. So I'm going to actually start with the edge and then work backwards. So the first thing that we want therefore is um, the spiller. So I have this awesome spiller which I just love. going to cut it in half and use it on two sides of the pot. So let's see that happen. All right. So what we're going to actually do is lay it on its side. Actually, I'm going to go this way and tuck it right in there. I'm actually going to divide this one up again. Next up, I'm going to use this. This is this is this is called drought tolerant ground cover. I have a lot of it at my house, and I love it because it's a pretty fast grower. It adds some foliage texture and some colors, like the like the blue and the lime green. They're perfect. Original. So I'm going to cut these back quite a bit actually and just lay them right back in there. as filler. So I'm going to just, that dirt I just moved in, move it to the side a little bit. Whoop. Literally lay the rest of the plants over the top of these other ones and they will build up to this centerpiece. Mm -hmm. 